It was a wonderful morning inside Lake Town, and Jeff was enjoying every minute of it. And everyone else was, too. Except for Gary, so Jeff went to see why. Hello, Gary. What's the matter? Well, the carts are leaving today for their yearly inspection, he said. And Timmy should have been here an hour ago to pick them up. Timmy's on his mountain tour this morning, remembered Jeff. I don't even think he's been through town yet today. Which means he's probably coming to run right into the carts. Gary, we gotta get these carts off the track. Jeff and Gary didn't waste a minute. They worked as fast as they could to get the carts to safety. They finished the job just in time. Oh, hello, Gary. Guess what? I switched my schedule around so I can take the carts now. In no time at all, the long train was ready to go. Well done, Jeff, said Ray. Yes, Jeff, added Billy. You saved Timmy and Gary and six carts. It was nothing, guys, really, Jeff said modestly. Helping people is just what I do. You would help me if I was in trouble, right? asked Billy. Of course, reassured Jeff. You're my best friend. Suddenly, there was a loud rumble. Earthquake! Then, a giant truck stopped in front of them. Whose is that? cried Ray. Everyone was surprised to see that the driver was Wally. Hi, everyone. You remember me, right? Weren't you Mike's stupid assistant? I was, replied Wally, but now I've moved on. I've forgotten all about Mike, and I've moved on to improve myself. Halt! You're under arrest, Wally, said Corey. Whatever for? Aren't you Mike's partner, interrogated Corey. How do we know you're not going to help in one of his plans? I haven't seen Mike in a long time, pleaded Wally. And besides, what could possibly be dangerous about one of his plans? You do have a point, laughed Corey. All right, you're free to go. That's a pretty cool truck, Wally. Mind if I have a ride in it? asked Ray. Not at all. Hop in. Me next, cheered Billy. As Wally rode around, Jeff pondered. Wally sure has changed, he thought. The next morning, there were lots of sidelicks crowding around Wally. Is everyone really that interested in his truck? cried Jeff. Not only that, said Ray, he's pretty nice when you get to know him. He bought me bacon at the grease galley this morning. And then, when Ray wouldn't share, Wally made him share the bacon, chimed in Billy. Is it our turn now? asked Patrick. Sure, climb in. And Wally drove away. Wally's gone now, said Jeff. What do you want to do, Ray? Well, actually, I was going to wait here, Jeff. You see, in a little bit, Wally's going to teach me how to drive his truck. I really couldn't miss that. Oh. Okay, Jeff sighed. Jeff tried talking with Arnold. Uh, hey Arnold, do you want to hang out today? Asked Jeff. I'd like to, but I can't, said Arnold. Well, he's going to tell me all about having a square head. Mmm, yeah, I wouldn't want to miss that, sighed Jeff. Next, Jeff tried Oscar. Don't tell me you're busy with Wally too, Oscar, begged Jeff. Well, sorry, Jeff, but we're seeing that new movie later. And Oscar also left. So Wally just gets to show up in a truck and be everyone's friend, shouted Jeff. It's not just the truck, Jeff, reminded Billy. Wally's doing a bunch of nice things for everyone, too. He bought some of us breakfast. He helped Corey and Mac with their jobs this morning. And later we're all seeing a movie. But he was Mike's sidekick, screeched Jeff. Those two tried to destroy us all. But he's changed, finished Billy. Please, just give him a chance. All day long, Licks did things with Wally. 
Jeff could only watch as all of his old friends had fun with their new friend. And as everyone left for the movies that evening, Jeff felt worse than ever. I hope you all still remember me, he groaned. And the lonely lick walked home. Early the next morning, Corey was patrolling the town. Jeff had a word with him. Corey, do you really trust Wally, he asked. I don't really have a reason not to, replied Corey. Well, what if maybe he's still part of Mike's plan? That could be why he came back. Well, Jeff, when you can prove to me that he's dangerous, I will take care of this. Try to be his friend, Jeff. I don't trust him, replied Jeff. Corey felt sorry for Jeff. I know you're a little jealous, but making friends is not a crime. But stealing them should be. The other licks did not want Jeff to ruin their fun. Help us, Jeff, cried Ray and Nick. Wally's attacking us with his kindness. Hello, Jeff, said Wally. Are you going to come to my party tonight? No, thank you, said Jeff. This upset Billy. But he just left with Wally. Corey came back. You should go, Jeff. You might learn something about Wally, suggested Corey. Wait, what did you say? You might get to know Wally a little bit better. I could get to know him, repeated Jeff. Thank you, Corey. You just gave me an idea. I have a bad feeling about this, groaned Corey. That night they had the party and everyone had a blast. Jeff really wanted to have fun with his friends, but he had to stay hidden. He had a mission. He noticed that Wally was leaving. Alright, now is my chance. And with that, Jeff chased quickly after him. He tried his hardest to keep up with the truck, but it was very fast. Before long, it was completely out of sight. Fortunately, Wally had a really big truck that left really big tire tracks. And so Jeff ventured on. Jeff hiked into the highest of mountains. Finally, he saw something. There were carts of all sizes and several machine parts. And there were acorns. And up higher, working on a robot, was Wally. Jeff spied, trying to stay hidden. This is going to take forever, grumbled Wally. Hand me those speakers! We don't have hands, whined the cart. Then carry it over here! We're wasting time! Jeff tried to get a better look, but he bumped into a cart, and that cart bumped into the speakers. Uh-oh. It's funny, I didn't picture Wally as a Spice Girls fan. Hey, who put on my music? cried Wally. Attack! The army chased him everywhere. Ernie watched and listened. Jeff? Carts had him cornered. Ernie swooped in. He heroically swooped in and pushed the carts aside. There's no time! Hop in! So Jeff and Ernie fled the scene. I won't let them get away.